question, who am I? Answer, Slick Nick, living legend. I received a comment on a video I made. So let's check it out. The video was called, Nick Shell says you should never buy a boat. Of course, unless you're planning to make money off of that somehow, but I think there's generally better and easier more efficient ways to make money than to own a boat and rent it out and all that stuff. It works for some people, but for me at least, and all of my side hustles, I don't need to own a boat to make money. That being said, our friend Samal Sashin had this to say, quote, hey Nick, what do you think is more important in life? Having a ton of money and materialistic things or true peace of mind? Thanks. All right, great question, intelligent question. I appreciate that wisdom. And see, that's, that's, here's the truth. The truth is, is this. Uh, what's more important? No, there's a balance of them. There's not one or the other. Yes, you'd hear, hear that. There's, it's not more than... I say you actually can't, especially in the United States, based on how everything's set up here, you actually can't have peace if you don't have a certain amount of material things. And let me define that. What I'm not talking about is showy things, but I, are you familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs pyramid? Let's go ahead, I'm just gonna pull it up right now. And for this video too, check out the description. I put a link in there to one of my blog posts. Yes, I'm a blogger too. Remember I make a lot of money from that too every year. And in that blog post, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about, where I'm talking about my, my Jeep, but there's a picture of Maslow's hierarchy of needs pyramid and I'm just going to pull it up in real time right now search that for that myself and because uh, I really want to go over that uh, with you here so it's like this there are certain basic needs that you've got to have shelter in the American sense transportation a job all these things that you need in order, order to, to survive right all the basics and then as you go up, it's less about actual physical survival and it's more about you being happy and ultimately in the end, knowing who you are and being at peace with that. So uh, for example, yeah, it starts out with the very basic food, shelter, etc. Then it goes to the concept of, of safety and then love and belonging and then esteem, like feeling good about yourself and then at the top, self-actualization understanding who you are, being at peace with that. That's where I'm at in life. I'm at the top of that pyramid. But here's the thing. You don't have to necessarily have a lot of materialistic things to get to the top. You could live in a third world country where ultimately you have a general sense of safety and your basic needs are being met. You have your family, your close friends, and you feel good about yourself and you know your purpose. So it doesn't require having a lot of things to get there. In fact, when it comes to this pyramid of needs, and we can see this with, I don't know, I guess it's like a cliche, like anyone who wins a lottery or like a, an athlete or uh, actors, anyone who just suddenly runs into a bunch of money but hasn't really found who they really are. They just stumbled into a bunch of money and they often lose the money because they don't know how to manage it. Manage it. But ultimately, Without understanding who you are and having that peace, it doesn't matter how much you have. In fact, if you, the more you have, it, it almost actually hurts your identity. It keeps you from understanding who you are because you're so clouded by the judgment of all the things that you have. So it, it's not a matter of how much you have. It's about the balance of having peace and having enough things that you can be happy with that. And I think. When you have peace, you're able to be ha happy and, and appreciate what you do have. But often people that have so much stuff still aren't at peace and they're in that endless search to get more stuff that will never make them happy. And it's about the balance. And as you know, with my Jeep here, six speed, the balance of, of the clutch and the gas, you know, you have to know how to do that, that balance. And that's what it is. Something you're gonna see about my identity in so many videos is I typically, I'm very focused on finding that balance of truth because really what's the difference between fact and truth? And that's 
a lot of us are caught up in trying to spend our whole lives figuring out the difference between truth and fact. Uh, and is there? It's, it's so much of it is our, our perception. Uh, but, but ultimately, what's more important? I say they're both very important. You know, we can't live in this hippie society where like, hey man, all you need is love, man. It's all you really need. That's not true. <laughs> that is not true. Because especially as a man, for many of us, at some point in your life, you are going to fall in love with a woman. And when that happens, suddenly you have to become so much more responsible of a person. And granted, yes, it is true. You could live your whole life by yourself, never get married, somehow never get anybody pregnant and then therefore be responsible for any other human life. Okay, that's possible. Some people do that. I don't think most people necessarily that would plan their life that way. I think for most of us, at some point you're going to become responsible for other human beings. And by being a man, therefore already, money's going to matter. And to understand that in your youth is good because then you can find your identity, find out what you're good at so that you can make a living base off of, off of that. So that's my answer. My answer is they're, they're both very important. I can't even say that they're even equal. It's more like a yin yang. They're intertwined and there's a little bit in, in each of them. And it's important that we realize that. So that, that's my answer. Uh, reminder, you can have lots of stuff, but if you don't have the peace thing figured out, no amount of stuff makes you happy. However, you can have perfect peace and know who you are. And it's all about love, man. Ooh, look at the flowers. Well, wait, those are clouds. <laughs> but flash, flash forward a few years later, the moment you actually need to have more responsibility in your life because you're now responsible for other people, especially, and you're not going to have that peace anymore. Because I think people who are going to be so focused on having peace and not about the materialistic things, it's very difficult to sustain that mindset, that the happy mindset. I'm teaching a balance. I'm teaching that to be intertwined. That is what I have to say. But I'm no professional. I'm just some random guy with a YouTube channel that people watch. That's all I am. How does that make you feel? The things I've said, how does it make you feel? Comments, right?